Spring is in the air and it's time to add florals to our wardrobe. Florals for spring? Well, it might not sound too groundbreaking, but not so fast. Dallas Wall is here to show us how to reinvent this classic. And of course, that was a throw from Devil Wears Prada. Right, right. A movie we probably both love, everybody at home. Uh, yeah. but, you know, let's talk about florals. So how do we continue to keep this fresh? So spring comes around, floral happens, right? <laughs> every spring, every time, every season, it's going to happen. It's about kind of figuring out the new fun patterns of floral or maybe certain floral pieces that are a statement that you can do that are different than years past. Kind of keep it fresh and keep it fun for the new season. Well, you know, talking about making a statement, it is opening day yeah. and he is rocking a floral blue suit. So, you know, how can men rock the floral look? Um, it's a bold look, right? If you're gonna do floral, it is definitely a bold look. So just be confident with it. I mean, you don't have to do a full head to toe mm -hmm. suit, right? But <laughs> you can do maybe a floral shirt or you can do a floral pocket square. Something that just kind of adds that fun spring twist to the floral mm -hmm. without going full head to toe. Okay, so we don't have to jump in both feet like to the deep end, but we can like bring out those floral hints. Yeah. You know, you also have this lovely, looks like mixed floral. Yeah, so just because it's floral doesn't mean you can't continue to mix patterns and prints, right? Uh -huh. It's all about the proportion of the patterns and the prints. So we're, we're telling the same color story. It's all the same colors within mm -hmm. the top and the pants, but the proportions of the patterns of the floral are a little bit different. We have a smaller proportion here and a bigger or more medium proportion here. So they don't compete with one another for the focal point of the outfit. So something like this head to toe works really great. Okay, so to put that in perspective, you're talking like these are small yellow prints and then this yellow is, a is bigger. much. Mm -hmm. okay. So the proportion of the pattern itself is what we're looking at so that it doesn't skew too much and there's not too much competition within the outfit. Okay, and you talked about this with the men, just adding little floral pops, but it looks like you've also got something for the ladies. Yeah, the ladies always get yeah. fun floral pops. You can do floral in the shoe, you can do fun floral earrings, maybe a fun floral handbag, something that just kind of mm -hmm. adds to the appeal of the season. Easiest way to transition from maybe winter into spring, um, spring into summer. Floral just kind of helps transition you and your wardrobe. Okay, because you could have done something like this, you know, if I didn't have these like huge earrings yeah. here, you know, and we'd be a lot more spring ready. That's awesome. Absolutely. Just fun little florals instead of maybe like your regular stud, switch it out for a floral and make it feel more of the season. Okay, and then let's also talk full on floral dress, right? Yeah. We can rock this, we can rock it in the newsroom here at Better Kansas City. And then also just if you're going to a brunch or something like that. It's a lot of fun. A great dress that just has one solid pattern all the way through. Mm -hmm. Think bright, vibrant colors. Think really fun and sophisticated all at the same time when you're talking about silhouettes. Make sure that the bright, fun floral colors don't overtake the outfit and the, the proportions and the fit is still right. Okay, and then while well, let's say we've never worn florals or maybe that flower pattern before, What's your one tip to incorporate it into your wardrobe? So find something that you like. Find maybe something that's a little bit more subtle, not as bold. Maybe just a tight knit that's more of a monochromatic floral and try that. You know, work something in that kind of already works with your personal style so that you don't feel like you're going too far out of your box. Okay. And then do you have any color scheme or colors we're really going to see a lot this spring? I mean, I'm really seeing a lot of blues, a lot okay. of yellows. The brighter, the better. We're seeing a lot of neons even. That's a really bold neon floral person. Um, but we are go bold with the florals. Okay, Walla, thank you so much for thank all you. those helpful hints. And if we're talking neon, we actually do have an eyeshadow look for that later on. Yeah.